All right, hey, this is Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. Part two of checking oil pump screen pickup to oil pan clearance. Previous, if you go back, uh, oh, let's say a month, I tried fitting this uh, pickup to this pan. This pan has a sort of built-in windage, so it bumped into that right there. This part here would have to be cut out to catch this little bend. So you try to put this guy on. It won't go. It's a total fail on fit. One solution would be to cut it. Another would be just to find a pickup screen that would fit. Two types here. The bolt-on one and the press-on one. I'm going to work on this bolt-on one here, the Canton 20-021. This is for 7.5 inch pans. There's always a little bit of um, wiggle room, so what I'm trying to say is like, say if you got one for a 7 inch pan and you have a 7.5 inch pan, a lot of times there's a little bit of wiggle room where you can use that one. So. How is this going to fit on the pump? Well, this didn't come with fittings, so uh, with fasteners, so fasteners that came with the milling. All right, this has to get cleaned, so I'm going to go clean it and be right back. All right, I'm back. Cleaned it. Used a soft, uh, bendable, uh, you know, like wire brush that could bend. So I could get all the way in there. I didn't show that on camera because I didn't have any cameras out there. So, so let's see if this fits on the pump here. Or if it's going to, if it even has. Yeah, it does have a chance. Alright, I gotta loosen that screw right there. Sometimes you're tempted to use impact wrenches with these. For speed, but these are delicate, delicate fittings, and plus you don't want to drop them into the oil or into the motor. Will this fit? Yes, it will, but it looks like it's going to be a press fit. All right, I gave it a test tap. And I didn't get that on camera just to see how tight it was. And it's perfect. It it just it went in nice with just a little test tap. And so I'm gonna finish the tapping in. It's almost seated, so I'm going to give it a, a whap. Hold your ears. Okay. It's seated there. Hopefully, I can still turn it here. Yep. I can barely get the wrench on here. These have like Loctite on them, and washers this wrench here and can barely get it in here anyway that's that pickup i'm just going to set this on here first to make sure the pan fits just to make sure the pan uh, fits interference wise Okay, interference wise, we are good. Let me show you. Okay, so this looks like it's going to fit nicely. Let's do the ruler measurement so my customer uh, knows that he's, his pickup is going to work. Another thing I learned don't leave something like halfway done and think you're going to come back to it. 
as a rule of thumb, torque things to completion. If you're not keeping careful, rec keep careful records that you have everything torqued. Torque everything to completion. Because you think you're going to come back to it, but you accidentally you don't. That's not going to be a good day. Okay, in case you missed it. New oil pump pickup, and I'm, what I'm going to do is measure the distance between this screen right here and the oil pan bottom. I'm going to do it with a ruler. One of these types, everyone has one of these in their hardware toolbox. This is set at seven and an eighth from the uh, previous video. We set, we had the uh, setting at seven and an eighth. This comes to the same thing, comes to seven. It hasn't, it hasn't moved. Okay, this comes to the exact seven and an eighth. What you do then is see how deep it is to your pan. Hopefully you can see goes to that wasn't goes to right here okay counting sixteenths one two three four five six six sixteenths that is three eighths three eighths is exactly what you want for an oil pump pickup screen to oil pan clearance. So this is going to work pretty good. Put this here. Put that puppy right there. Put this on. Bolt it down. Let's do two on this side and two on the other side. Now maybe three on this side. Get some new gloves. Pan looks like it's down pretty good. You know, while I have you here, what are the chances of the crank being able to spin? I think they're low. I think the rods might hit here and on the sides. There's always trouble like that. So let's get us turning. Let's see what we got for socket size. In there. Oh, that'll fit. Here we go. Let's test it. See if it turns. So far, so good. Ah, there's something hitting right there. Okay. All right, there. Okay. That allows me to see the position. Now let's see what the oil pump um, screen, the clay, looks like. Measure that, and that'll be it for today's tutorial, and I'll look at clearance. Oh, that may have been the rag getting stuck. Who knows? All right. Clay is right here. Let's peel it off carefully. Okay. Clearance. This is be okay. Between a quarter and three eighths. That's what we have. Let me show uh, one reason I don't like Canton pans. You know, I had to clearance and remove all of this uh, scraper screen right here. When you're doing main caps, they stick out, the shoulder sticks out pretty far and it bumps into these extra things. I'm of the, uh, well, the opinion that the more space in here, the better that air can travel. 
the more things that are in there, the more trouble, the more windage problem. There's no space for the air and oil to go. So I, this pan is good for a stock motor, but when you put the big caps on it and you do more stroke, I always prefer a different pan, something with more space. So I had to take all those off, clean it about eight times, set this on here with no gasket, uh, and finally it fits on there nicely. And the only thing that was hitting actually was on this side, every rod pair would hit that scraper thing. Right now, no interference. Finally got that done. So maybe as a bonus to the oil pump screen, to oil pan clearance, I'm gonna throw this in there. Please don't get pans with scrapers. And this screen I'm gonna leave in, but I prefer space. Uh, that's why my, my Steps Oils pans come with none of this. They come, up, they come with more space. Lots of big sump area. The widest area that can fit in the chassis is always better. That's what I got as a bonus for you. And this is Carlisle Wine, L-Wine Engines. Take care.